Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the official second episode to the Comedic Sense podcast, where we talk about fragrances and much more, guys. I am so excited to officially have you back for episode two. Today, we've got some uh, some interesting stuff to get into. We are going to cover, is fragrance TikTok dead? Is fragrance sellouts taking over fragrance TikTok? and much more guys but before we get into that i want to thank you all for the support on episode one i've gotten so many messages and comments on tiktok and youtube that view, that you guys say you like the episode so i am crazy glad to hear that first episode did about 70 75 views right now which hey show is starting out um youtube is not a platform that i'm usually posting on but we're gonna get there guys um it's just a fun little show for me to connect to my regular viewers more and i'm excited um it's <laughs> I, I do this show because i enjoy it but also I want to connect with you guys on a, on a deeper level than just going live and posting videos daily. So with that being said, guys, welcome back to episode two. I am, I'm happy to have you joining me. If you're in the car, make sure you're, you're safe driving. If you are sitting at home watching this, um, I hope you're not too lonely. Uh, maybe, maybe nice grab, if you're, if you're over uh, 21 years of age, maybe grab an adult beverage, sit back and chill with us. Uh, I will not be having any today, but uh, I'm thinking on the next episode, we're going to crack open some drinks and uh, have a nice little chill session, guys. So thank you all for joining us. Let's get into it. Now, I wanted to show some fragrances that I had just gotten today. Um, I'm leaving one out. It's, it's still out in the uh, the living room there. I'm just not a fan of it, but these two are absolute bangers, guys. Three brand new Latafa fragrances. Latafa, His Confession. This stuff is dark, spicy, sweet with vanilla, benzoin, some patchouli, some mandarin, guys. It's uplifting, but it's also dark and warm, spicy. His confession is great. You've seen a lot of people on TikTok talk about it, I'm sure. I was skeptical, but it's very nice, guys. Bottle's kind of fucked, though. Bottle is pretty fucked. And then Artisan Ethnique. This one smells like Sugar Addict by Born to Stand Out. That's good. Guys, this is a sweet explosion, a beautiful fragrance. Unisex. Let me, let me try it on, actually. I've tried it on test strips, but, um, yeah. Sweet vanilla, sugary fruit, and that, it, that, it, that almost smells like Givenchy pie a little bit. Powdery, sweet, fruity vanilla, kind of reminiscent of Givenchy pie, just in the slightest. A more unisex Givenchy pie, guys, so there we go. Those are the two new fragrances that I wanted to show you, and also I wanted to show you an, an, an underrated fragrance that's been talked about a lot, but not many people have because it's so expensive. Blue Talisman by Ex Nihilo. This stuff is it's very beautiful. It's a, it's an ambery musk with some citrus. Almost smells like Baccarat Rouge 540 DNA. And then also, guys, I did get a new bottle of Parfum Sommelier Altair because I you can still see it up there. I decanted most of the bottle, though. The first bottle is almost completely gone. Thanks to you guys. If you want to try fragrance samples and decants, make sure you get them from my uh, from my um, your bio. You can go to my TikTok bio or just go to comedicsense.myshopify.com. Fragrance samples in 3 and 5 ml. And you can use code TikTok. It will take 10% off your order. You guys heard that here. And anything over 60 bucks is free shipping. Soft little plug. <laughs> Had to get into it, guys. So, fragrance sellouts. Whew. That's a topic, man. That That is a topic to get into. Uh-huh. Um, I've been called a sellout. Um, I am not. <laughs> I, uh, I probably make a lot less than other many other fragrance influencers. However, I do TikTok shop. So TikTok shop fragrance sellouts is what we're going to get into here. TikTok shop is something that I use and I think it's a great thing because it's shopping in platform. You don't have to you don't have to leave the app. And there are some great deals. I've had people get like Afna 9 p.m. or Sasi Hawas for less than I paid. Like I've had people get it for like 15 bucks with coupons and everything. I point being I think TikTok shop is great, but there is a lot of trash on there. I'm telling you. There are some phenomenal fragrances, like, for, for example, His Confession. This is a new release. Smells great. Love this stuff. Artisan Ethnique, very good. Love this stuff. These are both on the TikTok shop, and I will be making shop videos for it. But I've got, I showed it in episode one, two of the podcast. I've got a whole bucket full of free fragrances that were sent to me over there that I, I could promote, that they, that they wanted me to, to promote on the TikTok shop, guys. They're not good. I don't like that. You might love them. I don't like them. So, guys, but I, I, I do know creators out there. I'm not going to name any names, that's not cool, but I will just say that I know creators that will promote anything and everything to make a buck. I don't think that's right. Fragrance sellouts is uh, it's something that, that kind of takes away credit and, and uh, well, I, I guess honesty and credibility when it comes to how much you can trust a fragrance influencer. Um, it takes away, honestly, the, the heart and soul of the, uh, of the industry. Like, 
I I started fragrance um fragrance videos not not as an not as a reviewer not even as an influencer I was just some dude that liked to make people laugh and I uh, I like to consider myself the pioneer of not taking fragrance seriously guys I don't know um I started making not I I did make some skits in the beginning of my uh of my content creation but overall I um I was making like reverse psychology and like comedic videos because I'm comedic sense that was the, that was the whole play on uh what I wanted my page to be. I wanted to, to just not take things seriously. I just wanted to be goofy with it. And then in time, for, uh, companies started sending me free fragrances and I started to buy more fragrances. I started to get more into the hobby and I turned into a reviewer. But I've, I've never been a pure fragrance reviewer. That's just not who I am. It's not who I ever wanted to be. And people people come to me for advice every single day and I, uh, I'm happy to help. But I'm not a fragrance reviewer. I'm just a dude that likes to make people laugh and I happen to get a lot of fragrances, guys. Um, a lot of people don't even know. People will be like, uh, dude, I only have like five fragrances. How do I start making videos? I had seven. I had seven fragrances when I first started making videos. You can scroll all the way back on my YouTube shorts. You will see the Burberry. I, I used to talk about Burberry Touch, Dolce Gabbana the One, Banana Republic, Tobacco Tonka Bean, and like BDC. I, I can't even say the channel name. Uh, Blue Channel. Blue Channel. I can't even say that name because they, uh, they don't like that, but... I had like six fragrances, seven fragrances, guys, and I started making videos, and I started buying more, and then it kind of blossomed from there. You don't need a, a lot of fragrances to uh, to make videos. If you have two fragrances, talk about what you know, recommend stuff. If you smell a lot of stuff, you don't need to own the bottles to make videos. <sighs> Just don't make slideshows. Don't don't make the, or at least don't make basic slideshows. Like Milan sent, <laughs> Milan sent me. We've gotten into it a couple times, but I mean, we follow each other. We've talked to the DMs. If if you know of Milan sent. He uh, promotes artistic niche fragrances. He, Milan Scent makes great slideshows, like creative AI slideshows. They're different, and they're not the basic Stronger With You and JPG slideshows. Th those are just the type of videos that you don't want to be making. Um, but there are good slideshows to be making, like uh, I Smell Unusual. She over there, I believe she's from uh, France? Something like that. Italy. Italy, I believe. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it, point being, she also makes slideshows, but they're like, gothic and dark with like unique recommendation slideshows that's that's cool too so there are good slideshows to make but guys do not turn into just like a basic you know buy this fragrance and it's just stronger with you don't make those slideshows but if you want to make fragrance videos by all means i support anybody that wants to uh get into this hobby of both content creation and fragrance filmmaking because it's fun it really is but you can't do it because you want to get a free bottle sent to you i, I bought this I spent like almost 200 bucks on this little 50 ml just recently. You don't get everything for free, but uh, if you're in it because you actually enjoy entertaining, helping, or just making videos, that's that's why you want to get into it, guys. So I have a little outline here. I have my uh, my Chromebook set up in front of me. Um, I did cover kind of like the fragrance sellout aspect. Basically, there are sellouts out there. It does take away their credibility, and also. There's also a lot of just great fragrances that if you if you genuinely stand behind the product, you're not. I, I don't consider you a sellout. Some people that think that if you make any bit of money off of either commission or recommendations for promoting a product, then you're a sellout. I think that's stupid. Um, if you genuinely stand behind a product and then you're like, oh wait, I can make money alongside actually liking it and putting people on to, I, th I think that's cool. So yeah, TikTok shop. I think I think I think it's good. Um, it's definitely it has hurt fragrance TikTok in general. There's definitely a lot of mistrust, and you know, there probably is dishonesty. Oh, I I know there is. I, I don't know all the creators, but I, I've probably seen some dishonest videos. Uh, people, I mean, even just people that don't even make fragrance videos, but they're like, for example, to be like, oh, I just got this cologne. It smells so good. It's it's ladies will compliment you, and it's like you go to their page. I'm I'm sure you see this too. Like you click on their page. They, maybe it has like a like a viral cologne video. Their page is like 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 sports recommendations or like or like like how like how to kiss a boy 101 and it's like dude not not that was just a that was just a joke but um i i look up those videos that that's why i had that on my head but uh, i um i i've seen these like viral cologne videos by people that don't aren't even in fragrance tiktok and they're just profiting off of the the hype i think that's dumb but tiktok shop overall i think it's a good thing I think it gives people a way to not only earn money, but also put people onto fragrances that are affordable because not everyone has money to spend on $300 fragrances, guys. I know that I've been there with no money, and I mean, I, I, I did get into fragrances recently. I've only been into it for two years, and I was working full-time all throughout then, so I had money to spend on fragrances, but I know people 
Why did I just pick that up? Uh, guys, I've never even sprayed this new Altair. Can't even smell it. I know people, though, that just don't have the money to spend, and that's fine. Um, that's why I like to provide alternative, cheaper options. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, guys. And for the first time in 10 minutes of this show, hydration break. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you got a, if you got a cold water next to you, or a room temperature water, if you're weird, sip that shit. Oh, guys, so yeah, I showed you the new fragrances. I just posted the video about, like, I literally filmed it earlier today in this shirt. Go check it out. His confession by Latafa on my TikTok page. It's good. So I, saw, I, I went over some new stuff that I had, and now the meat and potatoes of today's episode. Is fragrance TikTok dead? Is it? Is it going away for good? Are, are less and less people interested in fragrances? Are, are less and less people going to be watching fragrance videos? Guys, this is bothering me. This is bothering me. There. That, that, how did I wait that long in the episode to fix that? Guys, that was, that was, that was criminal. That was horrible. Why did I let that go on for so long? Wow. First 11 minutes and I didn't even figure. Okay. Okay. Point, point being, is fragrance TikTok going away for good? I don't think so. People have been saying winter 24, winter 2024 is going to revive it. It could. I mean, these two releases are, these are winter fragrances. I'm telling you, that's the most things you want your pie. It's it's an it's a dupe of a sugar addict, I believe, by Born to Stand Out, which I've tried, but it smells like Givenchy pie a little bit. There's some new great uh, winter releases. Spice Bomb Dark Leather was not bad, but it was kind of a flop. Um, it wasn't great. Extreme was way better, and overall, there's not a ton of great fragrance releases for winter. But there are some bangers that are not too old, like PDM Altair, uh, PDM Ojan is great, like. Lorenzo Pazalia Van Exesix, guys, there's a lot of, why do I keep, okay, guys, some, somebody help me, so, somebody save me, that, why do I keep smelling that shit, <laughs> guys, I don't know, Fragrance TikTok has definitely gone down in views, my views have dropped significantly, um, I've been making my skits recently, I've been trying to focus mostly on making skits because those seem to get views, um, I actually earn money from those because if you guys didn't know, my RPM on TikTok for, um, like, to make, to make money off of my views, is horrible. Um, my RPM used to be like 13 cents for every thousand views, and that's like every qualified thousand views. Now it's gone up to like a dollar. So it, I mean, it definitely fluctuates, but I don't get a lot of views. So guys, I make like, at like any like an average day of making uh making money on TikTok is like six bucks, like from views. That is like not not like all the money I make, but six bucks from views. A great day, forty to sixty bucks. That's like if I'm having like a stupid good day where I have like a skit that goes viral, pops off. I had one of those a couple weeks ago. Um, my re my most recent skits have not gone too well uh, in terms of views. I don't know. That just that just makes me have to work hard, guys. When things are going wrong in your life, you can either fucking give up or you can just work harder. You can you can innovate. You can think of new things, new ways to uh, do what was not working anymore. Because when something stops working, you can either you can either say fuck it, I'll move on, or you can say hey, let's change things up and make it work. There's always a way, guys. I'm currently working on finding that way. Um, my views were down, and I started making skits, and the views went up. But now the the skits aren't really working, so I either have to create new, funnier skits, I have to come up with new ideas. But overall, fragrance TikTok, the views have declined. It's sad. Um, I used to be able to literally like pick up my phone, respond to a random comment like with a video response, and be like, "Guys, fragrances are stupid. You smell bad. Don't buy them." Fifty thousand views takes me 30 seconds to film nowadays I try to I mean I don't take it like I don't I don't think too hard about it because when you try too hard people can tell but when I put out a video that I think is good and it might get like 2,000 views 3,000 views that's still 3,000 people that watch it I'm still grateful as hell but then I get the comments like bro fall off is crazy no way bro fell off it's like dude I don't control the algorithm the other thing is videos get pushed and and different niches get pushed in different ways too like fragrance videos just uh do not get pushed like they used to be. I don't know why. TikTok shop videos don't get pushed like they used to. I think, I mean, part of it probably is TikTok wanting you to pay to pay to promote. There's a lot of that going on. I get so many promote coupons where it's like, hey, you know, 10% off your first promote. Fuck you, I'm not doing that. If, if the video doesn't do good, it doesn't do good. I'm not going to pay you to push it more. I don't want fake engagement, guys. That's my, that's my biggest thing. I don't ever want to be fake or disingenuous on uh, anything with what I do, whether it's a, a reviewing a fragrance if it's getting noticed fame like not not fame but like you guys know what i mean like followers 
paying to promote is, is fine. If you want to do that, go for it. I don't like the idea of that. If somebody, I want people to uh, discover me, you know, genuinely, like, um, what is it, uh, naturally? That's not the word I was looking for, but, um, yeah. I want people to discover me, and I want to, I guess, get my videos out there in a, or, organically, organic way. I, I don't want to, I don't want to pay to promote, and when you do, it just literally fucks up the rest of your page. Like, they're, they're just going to keep giving you promote coupons and trying to be like, hey, promote to push the video and then they're gonna they're gonna drop the views down a little bit because that's just what they do it, it, it kind of sucks guys um tiktok the views overall have gone down for a while it was all um all uh, niches and then the fragrance niche on tiktok really took a little plummet in the last uh last six months or so pretty much all 2024 actually back, back like literally what the fuck i wonder if did something change then because literally at the end of 2023 guys i have videos from december that still pop off still get comments and views 40,000, 50,000, 100,000 views, 200,000 views, December and January, or, or December, like, uh, November, December, uh, 2023, and then, like, January, February, 24, that was, like, that was kind of, like, a, a second prime, I think the prime of fragrance TikTok was early 2023 and late 2022, I joined in late 2022, that's when I started making my fragrance videos, and honestly, I miss those days, people say, like, oh, how much do you miss prime fragrance TikTok, I don't miss the prime, I mean, okay, I, listen, I do miss the Prime. I don't miss it because it was like, wow, um, there were like, there was just like so many like cool fragrances or like so many good releases. No, I think that I miss it because I like when I put out a video and I can entertain people. A lot of the engagement that I got was people getting angry, but I was getting comments every day. People like, this video is so funny. Like, how does nobody get the sarcasm? How does how does nobody understand this? Also, um, I had long hair. Uh, I've lost weight since then. I'm, I'm still in the process of, uh, process of losing weight again, guys. Um, side note, when I was in middle school, I dropped like 45 pounds. Um, I, was, I was chubby all my childhood, dropped 45 pounds, got crazy skinny in middle school, all throughout high school. I mean, the weight fluctuates a little bit, but I was like skinny all through high school. And then I turned 21 two and a half years ago. So, uh, well, I'm 23, so I guess I turned 21, and then over that like six month to a year period, started drinking a lot because it's fun. I I, I do love. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm an adult. I do love the uh, the feeling of intoxication. However, the calories in that is crazy. My diet is still healthy, but I guess <laughs> not really because the alcohol is part of the diet. So that is the biggest thing. But um, we're still working on it, guys. And I've lost weight over the last like year. And um, I've had people tell me that they've noticed, like, hey, wait, bro, you're losing weight. Good shit. And uh, I've lost weight. I've cut my hair. Um, people have told me I've had a crazy glow up. And I used to get made fun of every day. And when you stop getting all those in, like negative engagement comments, it's still engagement. And so I lost that. And that's why my videos don't do good e as good either. Because I don't have that, those like those comments anymore. I used to get comments every day, like, bro, cut your hair. Oh, like, oh, cut your ugly hair. Like, your, your hair's ugly, girl. Cut your hair. And they're like, oh, I thought this was a girl. Or like, oh... This is fucking, this guy, fucking guy's ugly. <laughs> so it's like, I get those comments all the time. And I mean, sure, it would piss me off. So I'm happy that they're not there anymore. Uh, ultimately, though, you can't let people on the internet get to you. But when those go away, man, my view, my videos just don't get pushed like they used to. And it, it's sad because I, I do miss all the comments. Like, I could post a video in the morning, go to work, and then open up TikTok and have like, oh, it's just like, oh, 75, 80 comments to go through. Sometimes midday, I'll post a video, get 120 comments to go through. That doesn't happen anymore. I'll get 20 comments, 30 comments, and I still love to go respond to them. I see every comment, guys. If you comment on my uh, TikTok page, I see every comment. I always, every time I open TikTok, first thing I go, I go to the comment tab. I open up the comments tab, and I read everything. I try to respond to everyone, too, because I feel like creators that don't respond to the people that support them are worthless. I, uh, I've seen Fragrance Knowledge with almost a million he's literally at 993k as of this morning i saw when i like went to his page because uh we're buds i yeah i have a text pending from him right now i gotta go respond to um i saw that come through before i started the episode guys fragrance knowledge is a great dude he's helped me out with a lot of stuff and he's almost at 1 million and he still responds to every single comment and i think that is crazy I, I, every comment on his newest video at least every newest video he responds for all like to all the comments for until he posts a new video that's crazy Mm. I see so many people not doing that, and um, I've I've always just loved reading comments, negative, positive. I, I don't like the negative comments, but fuck, it is what it is. You post a video online, you subject yourself to that. So I uh, I love I love comments, and that's the the main thing that I miss about uh, Prime Fragrance TikTok. All the comments, being able to see 
oh, my video's at 30,000 views, it's got 100 comments. Oh, the video over this next couple hours, it bumped from 30,000, it went to 200,000 views. It's a crazy day, got 1,000 comments on the video. That's crazy. That's great. I, I miss the days when I would get so many comments that TikTok doesn't even show me them all. Like, you're trying to scroll and then they just, they just disappear. Like, then you have to go to the video itself and then respond to the comments on there, guys. Having a viral video is crazy. I've had, like, a handful of videos reach over a million views. And one million is what I consider to be viral for, like, the fragrance niche because that is a lot of people to watch a video about cologne. I miss that. And uh, we'll get there again one day. That's why some of the skits that I put out that have gotten 50K, 100K, 150K... I've had like three of those recently in the in the last cut like month or two. It's fun, and I love that about uh, being able to make videos, seeing the seeing the the positive reactions, seeing all the likes go up, seeing the, the numbers go up. I don't do it for the numbers. I don't do it for the money. I do it for the entertainment. And part of the part of the reason that comes with the entertainment is the numbers, like the um like the view count. It's seeing the view count go up on a video that you are proud of, that you that you think was great, something that you think will entertain people, and then seeing people get entertained by it. As a content creator, that's like the goal. That's like, it's insane to see. Oh, guys, this blue talisman is good. <laughs> Hydration break. Ma'am, I told y'all in episode one, I drink a lot of water. I love water. Um, like I said, hydration break. If you got one, sip it with me. <sighs> I hope you guys are enjoying this episode. Like I said, the first episode got about 70, 75 views, something like that. But the watch time was crazy. Like a lot of you guys that clicked onto it stayed on for at least the majority of the episode. So I appreciate that. That's nuts. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, this episode will probably not be as long. I'll probably just have a couple more minutes here worth of talking. But um, I want to come on here and talk about uh, fragrance sellouts. That's a um, an interesting topic. I don't. I, I would never name any names because I don't know for sure. Like I, I, I've talked to some people. Um, not even necessarily people that are popular in the community, but I've, I've seen some people that are definitely, definitely not genuine with it, organic with their opinions. I don't like that. I, I, what, when you associate with somebody, when somebody's in your crowd, in your circle, you, you, you do like how they are reflects on you. You do kind of get into that, that mix of like how they believe, how they behave. So I don't like to surround myself with shitty creators or people that I don't think are good. Um, good people, good creators. Um, there's a lot of creators that I've that I've talked to over the years that are fantastic, fantastic people. Some of them stop making videos as frequently, like uh, Cologne Talk. My boy, oh, I'm not. I was gonna say his name. I don't know if he cares cares about that. My boy Cologne Talk over there, great dude. Rivera Edge. I still see his videos. He said that he's not as popular as he used to be. I think that's stupid because uh, the fragrance niche in general has just gone down quite a bit. Uh, Rivera Edge over there. Um, I am Noel. I am Noel. She makes great videos. Um. She was one of the first to follow me. Strong Style Fragrance. He's been he's been getting his views up again though. His views went down. Uh, Strong Style was the first big creator that's um that's helped me out. That's followed me. And uh, at the time he he actually followed me a little bit around. Uh, I think a little bit before on um, the time when I beefed with Jerry's fragrance when I had 6k. So he had what like 50 50 60k. I had 6k and uh, Strong Style followed me and that was super cool. So uh, he didn't I mean he didn't need to do that but he supported me. He stood by me. And I, I appreciate Strong Style Fragrance for that, 100%. I, and it's good that I've been seeing his, uh, his um, views go up again, guys. So, uh, sorry, my toe fell asleep. The way that I was like, like had my foot position, my pinky toe fell asleep. So I'm like, it's definitely feeling weird right now. Feeling a little bit weird. Um, I'm gonna wrap it up by saying, guys. Uh, I guess not wrap it up, but like the final se segment I want to talk about is people have asked me if I'm going to make my own fragrance. I want to. I would love for, but I mean, I can't do it myself. I can't mass produce a fragrance for like at least, I mean, at least 100 bottles, 200 bottles, whatever I think people would buy. I can't do that alone. So if there is a brand out there that you know of that would like to collaborate, that works in the U.S. with me um, to create my own fragrance in a scale that could be pushed out to my followers, I'd love to talk. I'd love to work. I, I would love to be able to create my own fragrance for, uh, for people to try. Um, I'd love to be able to like experiment, try out things, and figure out what works, what what could be my my own fragrance. Because I would love to launch my own fragrance line in collaboration with the brand, but I just I don't I don't have the means to do that right now. People have asked me that for months now, probably a year now, over a year. People have said, "Oh, bro, release a fragrance. I would love to get it. Bro, release your own fragrance. Make your own fragrance." It's not that easy. I can't just be like, you know what, making my own fragrance, buddy. I'm on it. I can't do that. <laughs> as much as I would love for it to be that easy, I can't. So. uh 
We'll figure it out though. Maybe one day. Uh, I've always said maybe one day. Maybe if I find a brand, uh, be like, uh, if a brand wants to, maybe I'll find a brand one day. So we'll see, guys. But overall, I would love to make my own fragrance. So yeah, fragrance TikTok is not as popular. If people are right by speculating that end of 2024, like winter, fall of 2024 is going to bring it back, we'll see. Um, I made a top five like winter fragrance video the other day. It got like 2,000 views. <laughs> it didn't do too well at all. So uh, we'll see. Um, I was trying to be like, all right, guys, get get ready for winter fragrances because like winter's coming back, baby. Winter is back. Let's wear some winter fragrances, motherfucker. N nobody gave a shit. Nobody gave a shit. But uh, hey, hey, <laughs> let's be real. The um the the most popping fragrance creator right now, um Noel Thomas. He's definitely the number one getting the views. Besides Jeremy, Jeremy's not a fragrance guy though. Noel is like the one that still makes fragrance videos. It gets like the the most amount of views. The Cologne Boy, he still gets a lot of views, but even his views have gone down. Like, uh, I've talked to him. I, I talked to, like, Fragrance Knowledge. His views went down, but, like, Fragrance Knowledge still, he's almost at a million. He still gets good views, but less than we used to. I mean, I still get decent views sometimes. I, I still have some videos that get 10K, 20K, 50K, but that's just not frequent, guys. Back in the day, about a year and a half ago, I could make any video. Any video at, was at least 10K, and that, like, 5K was, like, average, like, for, like, a, like a bad, bad video. 10K was normal. 50, 30 to 50k was about standard for everything that I was doing. I miss that. Hmm. I definitely miss Prime Fragrance TikTok because it was more rewarding for the videos that I put into. I mean, guys, I film videos almost every day. I mean, I've got in my drafts like uh, about 20 videos that I could post at any moment. I've got in my um, my little my little note area. I've got a bunch of skits that I can write, which I might even film a skit later, or I'll, just, I'll, I'll film skits tomorrow. My girlfriend's coming over tomorrow, probably. Um, my girlfriend's coming over for the next two days, so I'll try to film skits between then and everything, but uh, the skits are really what my page is going to turn into, guys. I, I think that that's probably the best the best uh, course of action for me right now. Get back to my comedic roots and um, just make some skits, guys. Make some funny videos. I've had people tell me that the skits are so much better than my normal videos, and I agree. I, I I have more fun making them. They're they're more rewarding to film, and they're 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 funny. I think that my skits are funny. I only make things that I think are oh that that's a clever joke. I, I, I say some jokes that I'm like wait this is gonna go over people's heads, but when like one person gets it, I'm like thank you, thank you for noticing that I uh, threw that joke in there. Like some stuff that I, like for example, guys, some stuff that I say is quick. Like I. Uh, I was like, you know, um, for example, I said one time, oh, this fragrance made me come up and slap an old lady. And she's like, that was rude. And I said, thanks, Grandma. I, one person got that in the comments. <laughs> one person got that in the comments, and they, uh, that made my day. <laughs> They're like, thanks, Grandma. <laughs> they laughed, if you couldn't get that. <laughs> so, yeah, um, fragrance sellouts, fragrance uh, falling off, TikTok shop. That was kind of the... Uh, the bulk sum of today's episode, um, also with some information about myself thrown in there, guys, because this this might be um, a Comedic Sense podcast, but I am not just going to make it a fragrance-only podcast. This episode, like I said, was fragrance-centered. Next episode, we'll be having some drinks. We'll be kind of talking about whatever comes to mind. Uh, we'll see where the night takes us, where the evening takes us when uh, the next episode comes to fruition, guys. So thank you all for joining us today. We are at 28 minutes. We're ending at about the 28-minute mark. Um, I am... She might have to just do a couple edits. I, I, as a podcast, though, I like it to be just an organic, smooth podcast with not many jump cuts like uh, like a TikTok video. So this was fun. This episode, too, was successful. The time flew by, guys. I texted my girlfriend what feels like five minutes ago, like, hey, babe, hop in on the podcast. going to record the show. And here we are, 28, about a half an hour later, guys. Like I said, the videos on um, the episodes will be about a half an hour long, give or take. Um, like I said, we're going to be editing this one around the half an hour mark. So thank you all for joining us for episode two. Episode three, I'm thinking it will be fun. Um, if you are sensitive to like any drinking on camera stuff, then I, I would try to avoid that one. But uh, yeah, we're just going to be having some, having a couple drinks, having a good time. And I think that that's what's going to be uh, pretty fun. So th thank you all. Um, if you're new here, go to my TikTok. My TikTok is Comedic Sense. My Instagram is Comedic Sense. Go follow both of them right now. If you're new to like the YouTube channel in general, hit that hit that subscribe button. I have old fishing videos, guys. If you want to learn more about me, go watch all of my old fishing videos. There's a lot of good videos out there. I am I'm happy with a lot of the old fishing videos that I did when I was in high school and then like a year after and everything. It was fun, guys. I'll see you uh, probably next week. I'm going to try to do weekly episodes, so I will most likely see you next week for episode three of the Comedic Sense podcast. Thank you all.